back at it Addicted to the money like some fucking crack addicts Slow nigga like the 5 BS I make no with that ratchet And if you also smoke block 4 to get a bracket Why is niggas claim they really with it Knowing that they cap it These niggas say they really kill us Knowing that they lack it Y'all done in them streets Y'all want no beef Y'all niggas with them choppers That'll blow you off your feet Let niggas chase now know the name of a teenager who was killed in South Louisville yesterday. A deputy coroner says 15-year-old Christopher Fields was killed at his house on West Kingston Avenue. Police were called to the home just before 2 Saturday afternoon. Investigators haven't identified any suspects in the case. If you have information, call LMPD's anonymous tip line. That number is 574-LMPD. Yeah. So much shit up on my conscience, yes, that's why I got this tech with me Fighting demons through the night, can't let them get the best of me God forgive me for my sins, I pray you keep protecting me My daddy sit me down, he said, boy, you bring your stress to me Police have identified the victim of a fatal shooting in the Beachmont neighborhood on Saturday as 15-year-old Christopher Fields Police responded to the shooting at 514 W. Kingston Avenue around 1.45 p.m. Saturday. Officers found Fields at the scene with multiple gunshot wounds. Fields was taken to University of Louisville Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. So apparently word around the streets is that Christopher Fields aka FDG Chris was an up-and-coming rapper from the south side city of Louisville, Kentucky. He got the name FDG or Fat Daddy Gang from a deceased teen named Troyvent Hurt also known as Fat Daddy who was 13 at the time of his passing and was one of his best friends. Chris was a young talented rapper who had a dream as he attended Western High School where he took rapping to a whole nother level. He was rapping that young street life such as robbing, killing, drugs normal musical topics but as we all fail to realize not everything they say in their music is cap he talked about robbing houses and how he was doing wrong in the streets which was the ultimate downfall for chris so word on the streets is that he tried to hit a lick on one of his former homies friends who wasn't going for any of games once they spotted Christopher in the house he was trying to rob they proceeded to follow him into his home firing multiple shots into his chest killing him instantly. He was only 15 and he was too deep in the streets he knew the life he was living was gonna come back to bite him in the ass. But word is that a teen who is now an adult from the Park Duval neighborhood also known as 1100 O'Block was involved with his murder and the killer supposedly left to Ohio. It's crazy how life works but at the end of the day it is what it is. Long love this young man and may God rest his soul and once again rest in peace to Christopher Fields.